cl br so this this time this can be my heavier isotope and this can be my lighter isotope so here my chlorine was the lighter one and bromine was the heavier one this time the chlorine is the heavier one and bromine is the lighter one and both of these will contribute to my m plus 2 peak and similarly you can calculate the ratios of the m is to m plus 2 is to m plus 4 peaks by using probabilities multiplying the probability of this by the probability of this and uh, doing something similar for the other ones as well and now we'll move on to the next slide okay so we have done whatever we had to do for mass spectrometry now let's do some questions so this says that compound f contains the elements carbon hydrogen and oxygen very important to note while you're solving questions carbon hydrogen oxygen only uh, all carbon carbon bonds in f are single bonds okay the struct so it's uh, it's a, it's a, it should be saturated i don't know about the oxygen so i can't say saturated but i know that there are all c c single bonds the structure of f was analyzed by mass spectrometry and infrared and nmr spectroscopy so there are there would be many parts to this question we will we are only doing the mass spectrometry part of it uh, the mass spectrum shows that the me uh, me is the same as mz so you don't have to worry about that me mz same thing uh, same concept don't worry about that uh, uh, so the me value for the m peak is 90 so the molecular mass of compound f is 90 because as i said the me value of the m peak gives us the molecular mass of the compound so the the mr of f uh, mr of f is equal to 90 so we know that the MR is 90. The ratio of the heights of the M and M plus 1 peaks is 22.1 is to 0 0.7. So this is M is to M plus 1, which is 22.1 is to 0 0.7. So I know that, again, going back to that equation, 1.1% of the carbon atoms will be carbon 13. So this is equal to the, my M plus 1. so when I rearrange the formula I get n is equal to 100 over 1 1.1 plus 1 over m. so when I put in my values uh, Space over here, so I go over here. When I put in my values, I get 100 over 1.1 into m plus 1 over m, which is uh, 0 0.7. and when I take out your calculators do the calculation uh, I'll do it with you the calculation so it will be 100 into 0 0.7 divided by bracket open 1.1 into 22.1 bracket closed and we get 2.87 this we obviously know this cannot be the number of carbon atoms 2.8 so we'll round this off to 3 okay so again 100 divided by 1.1 into 0 0.7 divided by 22.1 so we get 2.8795 which is rounded off to 3 
So because we take the nearest whole number, so we have three carbon atoms in the molecule. Now we know that uh, from the given information, 